Hey YouTube, this is the Military Swag and you're watching my sixth video. In this video I'm going to be doing a documentary over one of the best tanks in the modern world, the M1 Abrams. The United States military is one of the best, if not the best, military superpower in the world. In order to maintain this role, we need up-to-date equipment and a lot of it. That's where the M1 Abrams comes in. It took seven years to design this third generation main battle tank, and it was worth it too. Even though the tank hasn't had a big challenge for it, many people consider it number one in modern armored warfare. The M1 Abrams story goes back to February in the year 1991, in the Battle of 73 Easting. 155 armored vehicles were destroyed on the Iraq side. Zero M1 Abrams were destroyed by the Iraqis on the coalition side. It proved very well against the Russian T-72, but as I said before, they haven't had a huge challenge yet. The M1 Abrams is similar to the German Leopard 2 in the sloped armor category, as well as the power to weight ratio and the cross country performance. The primary use of the tank is to close with and destroy enemy forces using mobility, firepower, and shock effect. It's basically a computer tank, and the Persian Golf Warrior was the first armored vehicle to have a GPS installed in it. It also has a great mobility. The top speed of the M1 Abrams is at 45 miles per hour, and it also carries a smoke screen generator. The turbine engine has few moving parts in it, therefore it's easy to repair. But the engine does have some drawbacks. It uses a lot of fuel and it gets hot easily and produces a high heat signature. That's dangerous if the enemy has an infrared device. The M1 Abrams has a 105mm cannon. Three machine guns are in the inventory as well. It has unknown thickness of armor with depleted uranium and steel. The crew is consisted of four people. A commander, a gunner, loader, and driver. The unit cost for this thing is like 8.58 million dollars. No wonder America is 16 trillion dollars in debt. Over 9,000 M1 Abrams have been built. It weighs nearly 68 tons, which makes this tank one of the heaviest manned battle tanks in service. The height stands at 8 foot tall, which is pretty short compared to the World War II tanks. There are some disadvantages to this vehicle as well. It doesn't have as much armor as it should, but designers let it fix this in later variants. It also is very expensive. The fuel consumption is just astounding. Another disadvantage is the cost. Just to make the thing is eight and a half million. So, in order to become the perfect tank, it does have to go through a lot of adjusting. This tank was meant to replace the M60 main battle tank, and I believe it did do its job. The next best thing is the Challenger 2, which is British and also on the American side, so I'm satisfied. I think if we were to go to a massive conflict, the Abrams would do its job, but as I said before, it's not the perfect tank. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tank documentary. I hope it satisfied my subscribers because they helped me out a lot to make this a better tank video than my last one. Thanks subscribers, thanks viewers, I will be making more military videos. See you guys in the future.